Nevada. Thank you so much for allowing Guava on TV to be part of your day today. In respect to the Chef of the Month, this is day two. We wanted to walk in your shoes because taco rock to me it, it, it is it's not just Mexican food, but it's like home food. It's uh, from the puffy tacos to the California burritos to the crazy nachos to the corn tortillas, you know, with, with the onions and the cilantro and everything else. I love corn tortillas, right? So, so I love the tacos that way. Everything here has the made from scratch taste, you know, it has that love. So I just wanted to tell people about your story. So, you know, take the floor, Myra. Tell people about Taco Rock, about me, Chef Myra, and everything. That Okay, well, uh, how are y'all? How are you doing? Thank you for uh, watching us. Um, well, I graduated from culinary school and I did hospitality too. I enjoy doing culinary because I'm more of a hands-on, you know. I enjoy uh, working with my hands. So I graduated in 2007 um, and, you know, have been working in the kitchen. I actually have been working in the kitchen since I was 12. You know, you see those little girls working in the kitchen and stuff, that was me. So I love what I do. So this is in your blood. I mean, yes. before you even knew it, you're like, this is what I was going to do. You didn't even know what it actually was, but you're like, you know. I enjoyed it, you know. I, just, I started young and I, I still love it. You know, I still love what I do. I Every time my customer comes in, I'm wanting them to tell me, was it good? Is there anything I can improve? Um, so I just, you know, I love what I do. Um, I love that you're so humble. I mean, you wouldn't sit there and be like, look, I, I, I want to make better food for you. Me, I'll tell you, what do you mean? It's just awesome, stop. <laughs> but I love that fact that, that, that you're humble when you're asking someone to, to get something done for you. Well, and now I'm working. I did work several kitchens, but now I'm currently working at Taco Rock. Mm -hmm. um, and I have been putting my own little style. Back in the day, uh, we started with the corn tacos, okay. uh, the street tacos. Uh, in every corner of Mexico, I travel to Mexico a lot because I like to get my ideas and I like to improve my sauces and I just, you know. Mexican restaurant, I mean, what, if you're gonna do it, you gotta be authentic, you gotta go down, mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta taste, you gotta look at the different locations, absolutely. And things change, you know? We'll see change, you know? I, uh, things change, so I like to, see changes. I like to improve myself. So uh, we started about uh, 20 years ago with the corn spray tacos, which are the onions and cilantro. Uh, carnitas is our fried pork, which is very popular. I've been putting a little uh, different recipe. We have Delta store, which are it's our marinated pork, uh, seasoned and citruses and achote. Then we have the chorizo, which I make here. I grind my meats. Uh, my, my what do you mean you make here? Like, like you... you... You, you take a piece of, of pork, you chop it up, you grind it, and it's all made in house. Like, yes. you're not going to the supermarket, no. picking it up, it's all fresh from Yes, there. and that's one thing that I, want, I do want to know, know that I may, I make every single meat by scratch. And my chorizo is probably my toughest one because it has so many ingredients and so much work. And I'm gonna show you all later on how to make it. Um, I think you guys will, will really enjoy it. And then we have the lengua, which, which is the big tongue. Uh, we have the cachete. Uh, we have steak, which is one of my top sellers too. Uh